Hi everybody, welcome back to Beauty Buzz with Lori. So today I'm gonna to be talking about dermaplaning. So there's a few myths that I'm gonna debunk about dermaplaning, and then there's also some things I wanted to address about at-home dermaplaning kits, as well as professional dermaplaning kits and the differences. So first, let's talk about what is dermaplaning. Dermaplaning is for all intents and purposes where we're shaving the skin. The purpose of this treatment is to exfoliate dead skin cells not to remove the hair, that's actually a side effect. So whenever you shave the skin, it does remove the vellus hair that grows and that's just your peach fuzz um, that's on the face and it creates just a beautiful smooth palette that gives you a more youthful and radiant looking skin. Also perfect for add-ons like a chemical peel or you can do this with a hydrofacial as well. You get beautiful results with this because you don't have dead skin and hair for that product to get hung up on. You get better penetration of products also. Um, one of the things that you wanna be careful of is if you have active acne, you don't wanna have a dermaplaning treatment. We do not wanna take the tops off of active acne, opening it back up for bacteria for more infection. Um, if you also experience eczema or psoriasis on the face, you want to stay away from dermaplaning. Um, also, if you have a rosacea flare that's happening currently, you do not want to have dermaplaning. Now, with that said, rosacea, if you have rosacea, you can have a dermaplaning, just not during a flare up. You wanna make sure that the skin is nice and clear when you go to have that done. Um, if you have really fragile skin um, that needs some repair, you want to actually go through that repair process. So in the past, I've had some people who've had some compromised skin barrier, and what I did was just put them on some reparative products first, and they did that for about six weeks or so, and then they came back and had their dermaplaning. It just goes much more smoothly. So what does it feel like when you have a dermaplaning? It's actually very relaxing. Um, what you might feel after your dermaplaning, if you're not pairing it with a service and you're doing it just as a standalone, um, is it feels kind of like having a wind burn or a, a mild sunburn after the, the fact, and that's just because we've shaved everything off that is exposed skin now. And what I like to do is actually pair um, the dermaplaning with another treatment, or if I am doing a standalone, I include a mask in that treatment. So that mask might be a hydrating mask if you have dry skin, or it might be um, something that's cooling or calming if you have more of a sensitive skin. So one of the things that I want to talk about is debunking the myths behind it. So one of the number one questions I get is, is my hair going to grow back thicker and darker? And the answer to that is simply no. That is not biologically possible for that to happen. Um, so it does not have, the reason sometimes it makes it um, seem like that is whenever you're shaving things off superficially, you get a blunt um, cut of those little hairs. And so it can feel like there's more hairs there than there really are. So it's just kind of deceiving smoke and mirrors type thing. The hair's not gonna grow back stronger. It's not gonna grow back longer. It's not gonna be darker. Um, you don't have to worry about any of that. So what I did was I went on Amazon. I'm an Amazon girl, and so I purchased this at-home dermaplaning toolkit. So I didn't get a chance to use it yet. What I wanted to do was dermaplane uh, professionally the um, right side of my face and then use a kit, at-home kit, that I purchased on the left side just to see and be able to talk about what the differences are. But what I think I'm actually gonna do is just do a follow-up video, and we're gonna have where you can watch me do the dermaplaning on one side of the face as a professional and then do the at-home kit on the other side and then we can listen to the patient um, or model tell me exactly what they're feeling whether it's the differences or if they feel like it's exactly the same so um, stay tuned for that video um, but I can tell you this particular kit I was a little impressed with if you were going to do something at home um, it's kind of cool because it really gives you all of the different um, uses for it, it gives you tips about it, and everything is pretty much on point with that. So um, again, I haven't tried this yet, but I was pretty impressed with its instructions. I'm very used to um, people doing like microneedling at home and stuff like that, and I've ordered those types of things to the dermal rollers and things, and they just do not, in my opinion, come with a sufficient amount of directions to keep you safe. Um, 
So I'm not a fan of those types of things. I would prefer that, of course, you come and do those things with me so that you can get a, an actual treatment. But this is kind of cool too. I wanted to demonstrate this. It has um, a safety guard. So um, that's what it looks like. One of the things that I noticed that's different from a professional versus this little guy right here is it has like little teeth, little ridges in there. I'm not sure exactly why it has that, but uh, for a professional standpoint, I use an actual surgical steel scalpel and a 10 blade. So I've played around with a bunch of different blades and the 10 blade is actually my favorite. Um, I've been dermaplaning for quite some time now and so I'm very used to using the 10 blade so I feel like I'm pretty skilled at that. Um, with any of these you always run the risk of a tiny little nick. It's never anything that you actually see in the skin. Um, I'm always forthcoming if I do nick you I will let you know. Um, but again it's nothing that is um, going to be noticeable to you or to anybody else for that matter. Um, Let's see, anything else? If you have questions that you want to ask about dermaplaning, don't hesitate to comment below. Um, I do dermaplaning on myself. Everybody that has had dermaplaning is always very happy with it. They love that it, it makes the skin feel very soft. Um, a lot of times you can't stop touching the face. Um, and it's just a neat treatment to have. Makeup goes on amazingly. If you have a special occasion, you want to get dermaplaning done beforehand, especially if you're having a makeup artist do your makeup. Um, she will love you and it'll be like your makeup was just airbrushed on. So this is one of my favorite treatments to, like I said, add on to the hydrofacial to do before a chemical peel. I've even done them prior to doing uh, microneedling. So anyway, thank you for watching today and stay tuned for our follow-up video on dermaplaning.